Workflow automation. What is it, Tony? So workflow automation helps Insightly do things for you that you would be doing manually otherwise. In other words, creating new records, sending an email. You can set it up so that Insightly watches for trigger events and then does those things for you. It's very powerful. There's a million different ways to set it up. We're going to show you one example. The one example is you've got a new lead coming in and you want to automatically send them a welcome email or first touch prospecting email. And then three days later, you want to send a task to give them a call, a follow-up call. So all of this can be automated within a single workflow. And we're about to show you how to do it. All right, let's go. Uh, we're going to go to system settings. If you're an administrator, you're familiar with this page. And we're going to go to workflow processes. Now you're just going to create a new workflow. We'll name this one new lead. You could put in a description if you'd like. We're going to select the lead record type. So this record type is basically where is, it, where is Insightly going to look in order to trigger this when the conditions are met. Exactly. I'm going to deactivate this for now because we'll activate it once we have it set up. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves. And we will check this only once when the record is created. You have other options there to check it multiple times, but that's what we're looking for in this case. All right, so now the, the workflow process has been created. So we need a criteria when these conditions are met, and then we need the action. When the condition is met, what do we want to do? Exactly. So we're going to go to this criteria page. In this case, let's do Texas. Let's yep. do a, a new lead from new Texas. Lead. Texas. Hook em horns. All right, hook em horns. And uh, we're going to go ahead and select the state equals TX. Now, uh, I'm also going to add another cri piece of criteria here. I'm going to do status. All right, and we're going to do status equals not contacted. Um, basically, what that allows for is if somebody creates a new lead and they have talked to them, um, and they change that to not contacted. We won't email the new lead welcoming them because they already spoke to them. Yeah, you have to be particularly careful about this because if a customer gets an email that is not meant for them, you know, you could break some eggs right there. Yeah, awkward moments. You want to avoid those. All right, now we're going to move on to the actions. Now, immediately after this lead is entered, we're going to trigger that email. So we're going to send an email to the lead. We'll call this New Lead Texas. Seems to make sense. And who that email is coming from will be whoever the lead is assigned to. Um, it is going to the email address of the lead. And here you can choose an email template that you already have set up in Insightly, but uh, you can also create your own or modify it here in this form. It's very easy to do. We're going to go ahead and do use our New Lead Texas. Already created this uh, template. beautiful template, as you can see. Absolutely. And let's sign this uh, from the team, from our company here. And we're going to go ahead and save that. And you can see here under immediate actions, we have the new lead action send an email. Got it. So adding a new time trigger here for, I believe you said, three days after? Three days later, we want to give them a call. OK, so we're going to go ahead and create a three days after workflow criteria date. And as you can see here, we have a new section for another action, and we're going to add a task. Add a task. This task will be check-in or call customer, whatever you want to call that. And this will be assigned to our rep in that area. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to choose Gwen. Gwendolyn covers uh, all of our Texas leads, right? She does. And keep an updated copy of this on my task list. Sure, why not? And we can go ahead and save that. You can add as many details as you'd like there, make as many selections as you'd like. Um, so now we'll go back to the workflow list, and we can go ahead and check that box and make it active. It's active. All right. So should we test it out? Oh, yeah. Let's go for it. There it is. All right. So give it a try. Put your designer hat on. See how to make it work for you. Uh, and if you run into any snags, check out Tony's articles on the Help Center. Have fun, and we'll see you next time. See ya.